What I like about the class is the scope where we actually have the ability to design, fabricate, and in the end have a, a working device that we get to test. What I like most about this class is the amount of like freedom and creativity that we can, uh, we're allowed in this class. Of course the icing on the cake is to be able to fabricate an actual wafer and see it actually working. This is a project oriented laboratory course in integrated microsystem design, fabrication, and testing. This course is a unique course in Michigan that gives an opportunity to develop a complete multi-chip microsystem that contains sensors, signal processing units, and output interface. The entire design process of microsystem implementation. Students do a lot of variety of designs including uh, sensors, also actuators. Uh, some students design a tactile sensor array um, and, uh, and measuring the capacitance change upon the pressure applied to the structure. And also students design accelerometers and uh, even actuators and micrometers. And uh, last year we have a, a micro shutter uh, for the uh, camera. So our design in this class is we're trying to fabricate a micro shutter. And this micro shutter is designed to operate for mobile cameras, so things like uh, camera phones. So right now camera phones have very small image sensors, but they don't have shutters in them. And they don't need shutters now because the resolution is so low. But we think that in the future, um, camera phones will increase in resolution, and at some point they're going to need a physical shutter to block the light. So we felt that with this class, it's a great opportunity to use MEMS technology to fabricate a micro shutter. I'm Brian, this is Ed, Tim, and Oliver, and we ran simulations with this design to see how much power, how much current, how much voltage we would need to get the desired displacement of the final micro shutter. This was all done in the very first few weeks of class because in order to fabricate it, we needed to have all this testing done within the first month. So this was all done very early on in the process. So what's interesting about this class is that everyone has a very diverse background. In our group, Brian and I are more uh, MEMS and microfabrication, familiar with that part of it. And then Oliver and Tim are more familiar with digital and analog circuitry. This is the digital circuit part for our device. Um, what this big thing here, this whole big chunk here, is a four-bit counter. And this uh, two bottom parts here are the two-bit counters. And everything to the side here are a bunch of like uh, multiplexers and uh, AND gates and OR gates and other various type of simple logic. So what I liked best about this class was the fact that um, I got to do layout because I've never done this before. It took me like a month to learn how to do all this and then it took me another like month to like actually try to design this. So that was like, you know, the part I liked the most about this class was like I got to learn a different type of skill. This is one of the last steps that we're going to be performing on our MEMS device for EX425. Now this tool here is the STS Pegasus tool and this is a deep reactive ion etching tool. And what it does is it etches silicon very, very deep. And our devices, our MEMS devices are made out of silicon. So this is one of the last steps in our process to create uh, our micro shutter. So here I have a wafer, and this wafer is silicon bonded to glass. And I'm gonna load this into the tool, and it will etch the pattern for our devices. So here we're unloading the wafer out of the chamber. It's already finished etching. So because it's been etched through and it's on glass, the certain features are gonna be transparent. So you should be able to see right through the wafer. Okay, so now our, our wafer is complete and we want to examine it. So we put it in, in this microscope and the wafer's down here and the microscope is attached to the screen so we can see how the wafer actually turned out. So here's our design right here. And you'll notice we have some pieces of artwork which are fairly common in research projects. So here are our signatures. And then we also put a little Michigan Engineering logo in there as well. So we use this mask to transfer our pattern from this mask onto the wafer and then into whatever materials are on the wafer. 
What I like about the class is the scope where we actually have the ability to design, fabricate, and in the end have a, a working device that we get to test. So with that in mind, we're going to test this device now. It's, it's hooked up, all the wires are connected, connected to the power supply, and then we're going to run a current across the, the, the chevron bent beam actuators and see if our device works. So let's try it. Moment of truth. Free. Yeah. It works. <laughs> Great job, guys. Look at that. Give me five. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this course uh, also provides a full iteration of the product design, per se, in academic setting. And one of the students came to me uh, last year, then he's got a job, and when he has an interview with industry, he's just bragging about uh, his experience with the hands-on experience of uh, uh, designing device and fabricating them and testing them. Um, so, you know, that really helped him to get the position. And this is an exciting course, and uh, you can design your own uh, device and actually fabricate it and testing. And when you see your devices working in the test bench, and uh, it is really fun and exciting. Everyone is, you know, cheering and applauding and shouting, and, and you know, it's, it's a fun course. You will enjoy a lot.